Sometimes it works out and sometimes it don't. Sometimes you win some. Hello, hello, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am so excited to launch a new series on the channel today. And this is specifically for the girlies that are very similar to me, who are in their 30s and just want to live their best life and elevate their life in all the different areas. So I'm going to be putting you all onto some different ideas of how to just really enhance your life and take it to the next level during this decade. So welcome to a 30 and thriving. So I was trying to think like, what do I want to do for this first video? Like what's actually going to be helpful? What are women in their thirties looking for in order to elevate and enhance their life? And something that I thought of that I feel like is very common for myself, for my clients, for my friends, is trying to find new hobbies that actually align with where you are in life and where you're going in life and that support a more elevated lifestyle. So I wanted to share 10 different hobby ideas for women in their thirties who are looking to thrive and just have a really great time but do something different than what we've done before so first up we have photography this is not something I've done on a scale of like photographing landscapes or trying to create like actual art photography obviously I am in the space of creating content so I do take pictures of myself or of like things that are going on around me um, but even that has just been so much fun just trying to like play around with different cameras I just bought this camera off of TikTok shop if you're on TikTok I'm sure you've seen it it's like the 4k digital camera I intended to actually take it with me last night and test it out because it's so small and it can fit in a purse but I forgot to bring it so clearly my photography skills are not getting anywhere because I haven't even brought the camera out of the house um, but there are so many different Different types of photography there so whether you want to get into like photographing events or just doing photography for fun of different landscapes and gardens and beautiful things in nature it's such a fun activity to actually try out and just to really release your creativity as well because photography is a wonderful art form and it can be super enjoyable and just allow you to do something that's a little bit different that's gonna elevate your lifestyle and that you're really gonna enjoy Next up, we've got another art form, which is painting or drawing. Again, this is not like my area of expertise at all, but I've been to like paint and sip events or like different art classes and stuff like that that are intended for fun. And I have had such a great time, obviously like following along with the instructor. Um, but again, like instead of just like, oh, maybe like let me go to the movies, which there's nothing wrong with going to the movies, but I feel like it's a common thing that people do when we're trying to think of new, fun, fresh, elevated ideas, going to like a paint and sip class or going to a party where you're focused on learning how to do portrait drawing or not even necessarily a party, it could be a class or anything in that area that is focused on that art form, mixed media art, whatever you enjoy, actually just creating something tangible can be such a great outlet, a great stress relief, and it also can reduce your anxiety. Now this next one, I do feel like I'm an expert in this field, cooking or baking. I absolutely love to cook. I love to eat at home. If you've seen any of my videos about like health and wellness and meal prepping and stuff like that, you know that my whole thing as far as like what to do to try to be healthy and like look and feel my best is to simply just eat real food. Um, I feel like there's so many different things that people can try for weight loss or weight maintenance and all that kind of stuff, but eating like just chicken, fish, beef, vegetables and starches, potatoes, having a colorful plate is so much fun and it's just easy to be able to say look I want to have five different colors on my plate today so even if you're making eggs okay then what can I add in a couple of different colors of bell peppers and maybe some spinach or some mushrooms or some type of protein like it's just a really simple way to keep up with eating in a healthy way but also have fun while doing it I've been really experimenting with like creating beautiful plates I love like acai bowls and things like that uh, now baking is not exactly my strong suit I have one dessert that I can bake really well that's kind of it but I do want to explore baking a lot more this year so definitely do things like go grab a cookbook so I'm gonna be grabbing a new baking cookbook and also there are fun classes if you guys look on like what's happening in your city or even on Groupon and things like that they list out a ton of fun classes that you can go to like there was one for learning how to bake macarons macarons I think it's macarons if you say it properly, but the cute little like French fluffy pastries that have some type of 
filling, I was gonna say cream, I don't know, in the middle. They have classes for how to bake those and it just seems like such a fun experience. I've also gone to a cooking class at Sur La Table, so if you have a Sur La Table in your area, definitely check out their cooking classes. I learned how to make egg rolls, which is something I had never made before, so it's just a fun new experience and you can learn to cook new things, to bake new things that are also going to just enhance and elevate your lifestyle and add a bit of variety. Next up is writing. So of course I am in the personal development space and I will always say journaling is such a great way to check in with yourself mentally to also just kind of create a diary of sorts of what you're doing in your life the goals that you're setting, the progress that you're making, all that kind of stuff. But you can even take writing to the next level and do something like creative writing. I know when I was a teacher, I worked for an after school enrichment program for a while and we offered a creative writing class for the kids. And like, I feel like it's such a great idea for kids to help them learn to express themselves in different ways. But why do we stop when we become adults? continue to immerse yourself in the world of writing, continue to expand your vocabulary, and to also enjoy the creativity piece of writing. So there are so many different things. You can get into poetry, which is always really fun. And then that branches into even more hobbies that are related to poetry. So just starting somewhere can literally create this entire community for you that you're able to go and enjoy in your 30s in an elevated manner. All right, next up we have gardening. So creating just like a beautiful space of something that you can care for is so much fun. I've been seeing a few different things. So I've seen like the garden containers that you can build that are not in the ground, but they have dirt in them. But then I was also just watching Octavia V on YouTube and she had like this digitized garden herb growing situation. I have been down the herb garden route before. I think it was our two year anniversary my husband created an herb garden for me and I was so excited and I killed all the herbs. So I'm like maybe this time around I'll try this like digitized situation for my herbs and that will actually make a difference. I don't know but it's worth a try. So whatever type of gardening interests you, even if it's not food or herbs but it's actually like flowers and plants and things like just get into that. Also there are some great plants that are good to have in your home that can help you um, with your energy and with oxygen and with allergies and all that kind of stuff. So it's also fun just to research and see how it can benefit you. And next up we've got pottery. So I actually experienced my first pottery class when we were on vacation in Tortola in the British Virgin Islands and I fell in love. So that class specifically was for a pottery wheel. So I was able to make something. I made like a little jewelry dish that I still have sitting on my dresser in the bedroom and it's just like my little pride and joy. Um, but also they have like hand molding classes. You can go to paint pottery painting classes. There's a whole array of different ideas that you can do in the pottery space as well. And it's another one of those things that's just fun to get into. So like if you start with painting pottery, then you can get into hand molding, then you can get into working with the pottery wheel. I know some people who actually have pottery wheels in their home. They say it's great for stress reduction. It's a great way to just go and unwind and pour yourself into something that's like a distraction, but a healthy distraction in a way. And to be able to continue to use your tactile skills, use your hands and create beautiful things. I think the entire theme of this list honestly has been based on creativity, finding a way to have that creative outlet, finding a way to express yourself that's different from what you may have done before, and just trying new experiences. And now we're going to get into one of my absolute favorite hobbies. Um, I have always been into thrifting, but especially now as I'm in my 30s, I don't just want clothes. I don't want a ton of clothes like cheapy things that I'm just gonna get and wear and not use again. I really focus on building a wardrobe that has pieces. I have a whole closet of just pieces. So these are like really nice elevated items that I can wear to special events, on trips, and all that kind of stuff. So thrifting is one of the best ways to build and elevate your wardrobe without having to spend a ton of money. I have found some fantastic items going thrifting. I just found a Ralph Lauren blazer. Well, actually, my husband found it. Um, he does not love thrifting, but sometimes I'm like, oh, hey, we're downtown. Like, let's go to the thrift store. And he found a great Ralph Lauren blazer and added that to his collection. Um, I've also seen some really great, like, Tory Burch little sets and things like that. So 
Going thrifting can be so much fun. You can use it to build your wardrobe, to enhance your wardrobe, or just to have a hobby as well. And it's like one of those sustainable things if you wanna also make an impact for the environment. Thrifting is a great way to do that. So it's kind of like one of those hobbies that's really fun, but also it's really good and it's a way to give back. Speaking of giving back, that leads to our next category, which is volunteering. I know if you think, sometimes people think volunteering is like, a work type of thing but it, it really can be a hobby because it's something that can create a sense of purpose and help you feel like you belong and that you're supporting your community in some type of way so look for different options for volunteering there are literally so many organizations that could use extra hands that could use your support and it doesn't have to be a long thing like you can dedicate an hour or so every week an hour or so every month whatever works for you and fits into your schedule it's something new to give a try and you'll know, since I am a holistic lifestyle coach, I had to throw in some type of fitness into this elevated hobby video because I do feel like fitness is a hobby. It should be fun. It should be something that you look forward to and something that you view as a way to enrich your life. So the one that I wanted to share today is Pilates. I feel like Pilates is literally everywhere, but before it was a trend, it's been a fitness style, but has been super helpful for so many different things. Again, anxiety, stress reduction, um, toning your body, helping to loosen tight muscles. Like there are so many different benefits to doing Pilates. I like Reformer Pilates. I'm not super into the Mega Reformer. I have taken a few of those classes, um, but I also enjoy Matt Pilates. So Matt Pilates is great because it's something anyone can do. There's a girl that I follow on Instagram. I think her name is Cami Sophia. She has some great Matt Pilates content where she'll just be like, do these moves, do as many as you can and give it a try. It does not have to be expensive. Literally go buy a mat from like five below or one of those kind of stores, roll it out and just start doing a little bit of Pilates every day. It's an elevated thing where you can like put on a cute outfit for working out, get dressed, do your workout, have your water, make a smoothie, like incorporate it into your lifestyle and you're gonna see how much fun it is. And lastly, the hobby that I wanted to share is learning a new language. So fun fact, Spanish was my minor in college. Another fun fact, I can't really speak Spanish. So I definitely want to get back into that. I also just feel like for travel and for different cultural experiences, it's a really great elevated hobby to have. Um, even if you aren't going anywhere, if you just want to enrich your mind to try something new, to learn something new, learning a language is a really, really great hobby to get into. But if you are traveling, like think about learning just a few words and phrases that you can use during your travels. And then you never know where your vocabulary expanse can go from there. So that rounds out my list of 10 different ideas of hobbies that you can do in your 30s to elevate your lifestyle. I hope you found something interesting. Definitely let me know in the comment section which of these hobbies was your favorite or if you have different hobby ideas that you love to do as an elevated woman in your 30s, please drop those in the comment section below as well. Thank you all so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Please like, comment, and subscribe and follow me on Instagram at Affirmations with Amber.